Ron DeSantis could make his fourth and fifth appointments to the nine-member Florida Supreme Court as early as next week, but critics of the process say there is a danger the court is being politicized. News Channel 8's Capitol Bureau reporter Mike Vassalinga has the details. The ideological balance of the Supreme Court won't change with the newest appointments, but what has changed in recent years is the balance of power on the commission that recommends names to the governor. 32 people, mostly judges, will be interviewed this weekend to fill two seats at Florida's Supreme Court. A nine-member panel will make recommendations. All nine of the members are ultimately appointed by the governor, but four of the nine are appointed by the governor from recommendations submitted to him by the Florida Bar. It hasn't always been done this way. In the mid-70s, the elected high court was rocked with scandal. Appellate judges became appointed. Then Ruben Askew created a commission to make recommendations. He appointed three members, the Florida Bar named three, and together the two groups appointed another three. It's been called a model for the nation, but in 2001, all of the appointments went back to the governor. Unfortunately, in recent years, it has really become a very politicized process. Governor Ron DeSantis has made no secret of what he's looking for in a judge. The judiciary, while important, must be limited. But critics say concentrating too much power in the governor can have consequences. We could see what would in essence be an all-out ban on abortion here in Florida, even if Roe v. Wade stands at the federal level. But those making the recommendations say they have just one concern. We're looking for people with uh, the highest level of personal integrity, intellectual ability to do the job, and a, and a judicial temperament. Those who support the governor having the power to appoint all nine members of the nominating commission are quick to point out that he's elected and held accountable, while members of the Florida Bar are not. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, 8 on your side.